Hello, uh, once again, Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. I want to wel welcome you to the best trade of the week. I put a little uh, quick video out uh, over the weekend. Uh, Happy New Year, go Steelers, and uh, some day trading comments as well. I thank you for those that uh, viewed it and uh, placed uh, some ratings and some comments. Thank you so much. A uh, little bit more about me. You can actually, if you scroll down here at nightcapitalmanagement.com or .blogspot.com, you can... Uh, <laughs> click on here. This is a short bio. Uh, read a little bit more about Rockwell Trading here and so forth. Uh, the trade that uh, to get my updates and find out how my trading's doing, whatnot. Go ahead and, and put your name and email as much as you want to share with me. Submit this. Uh, you'll have an email sent to you. Go ahead and approve that email, and then you will be on my mailing list. Uh, I will not sell or spam uh, your name. So the trade itself that we're going to talk about actually happened it's in the ZB market an electronic 30-year uh, treasury market and we're going to talk about uh, on Wednesday this $1,300 trade that you could either took for 500 which would have been fine but I'm going to show you another method uh, by moving your stops so you could have captured a little bit more profit as well and been able to to knock out close to well, a little over $1,300 on every two contracts here uh, first being 250 and the second one going up there and getting a little underneath the uh, upper average daily range. So this is going to be the trade that we're going to talk about. And I'm not going to waste uh, too much of your time today. We're going to get right into the trade. Okay, this is uh, the replay here on the Rockwell Trading Navigator. Once uh, once again, all of my uh, trading decisions and so forth are, are uh, on the Rockwell Trading template. You can get more information from rockwelltrading.com. Just go back to nightcapitalmanagement.com and you can get right to uh, there from off the blog or just type in Rockwell Trading. Here we go once again and uh, we're going ahead and replay this and let's get ahead and go show the first 15 minutes. Let me get the uh, first 15 minutes decision bar here and uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Alright so here we go. Here is uh, something that's very interesting. Our first 15 minutes uh, opened up higher, did not even look like it was going to go anywhere near the gap to fill here. We closed uh, up here higher. This gives us the uh, uh, close higher in the bonds. So we're above the high in the bonds of the previous day where uh, uh, the gap is not being closed. We have a nice, if we look down here on our first bar, our volume is increasing from yesterday at 3 p.m to today's opening. So this is a another good signal to go ahead and get long. So let me go ahead and put my uh, signals into the market here. Uh, signals meaning my targets and so forth. Okay so I put some uh, targets in here in the market. Now uh, this is the 8.45 or 8.30, 15 minutes after the 8.30 a.m. reports of the core retail sales and the retail sales report uh, were red reports this day at Forex Factory. So we got long at 21 and a half. Our first target here is 29 and a half, and our uh, stop in the market is at 17 and a half. So let's go ahead and fast forward the next 15 minutes here, and uh, let me see where we are. Now this fill here at 29 and a half uh, did fill me on this bar, by the way. Let me just uh, stop this. And as you can see on the next bar, we definitely got filled. So we have uh, at $250 off right here. And we've keeping our second. Let's just get in here a little bit closer. We get, let me zoom in a little bit. So here's our entry into the market, 21 and a half. We come in off of this high of the bar, high close. Nice, uh, nice uh, could be considered a thrust bar. Off of the reports at 8.30, our entry... Uh, actually at 835 excuse me our entry was at uh, open bar at 820 and our entry was at 835 and we came in uh, and we rode this one out at 21 they took half our profits here and we're sitting here at 22 uh, 22 and a half right now and, and looking to see exactly we're trying to get uh, onto this uh, green um, uh, trend line here or the moving average uh, we're trying to get on that if we can, and we're looking to see if we get up there closer. And let me go ahead and put our target in up up uh, on the uh, a little underneath the upper average daily range. Okay, so here's our average daily range uh, at 03, and we want to take uh, you know uh, whatever you think is good at this point. 
what I liked is I wanted to put it in at originally uh, a little below that at 28 so at 28 is what I was looking at so my opening target here was roughly in this area I was looking at oh you know 3 uh, and then 32 so it could go to 27 uh, and we can adjust this target as needed as time moves on so let's go ahead and fast forward once again to the next bar and see how and that's uh, here's our next 15 minute bar here the time currently is at 920 and we got a position here where uh, this is uh, a movement up but let's go ahead and see where this bar closes all right let me stop this now here's a problem that you could go in let's go back and look at this now if you would have moved your stop up to this position right here the 29 and a half off of this bar moving up the close of the bar came down low so you have a decision to make either move your stop here capture five hundred dollars which there's nothing wrong with with knocking five hundred dollars if you think the market's going to come down here and take you out at your stop or you can move your stop halfway in between the two of these in this case twenty four and a half twenty five area and get, give yourself half the profit in between this or you can just keep your stop here and be happy with it and take your two hundred fifty and still see if you have the shot to hit the home run and knock the out of the fence in this case uh, the decision to be made was either is fine either moving your stop here halfway in the middle or keeping here at 22 22 and a half uh, obviously if you kept it at 22 22 a half or even halfway in the middle in this particular trade you ended up uh, take, carrying this on uh, to full profit so let's go ahead and move forward let me uh, okay so we see right now that this bar right here just came down here just enough uh, went back to 29 the low so on this particular bar just enough to hit your stop if you had moved it up to 29 and a half but if you had kept it halfway in the middle you're still in the trade or if you're just a tick or two above your entry you're still in the trade you're taking off half your profit here and you're keeping the other part of this to see if you can hit for the fences right now so let's go ahead and fast forward to this next bar all right let me get the next bar entry okay so here we go let me blow this up a little bit closer and let you see what I'm uh, thinking about here and, and, and I actually like to do now here we go we had this bar close low we had this bar take us out closed up higher these two bars all closed higher all higher close higher close higher close we opened up and we drove up higher and we thrust it out of this range right here closed higher this in my humble opinion is a great place to go ahead and move to break even uh, not from break even but move up to here to the original target so now what we've done is we put our position here we're locking in definitely profit and we're shooting here for our our, uh, our goal up here of this little below the uh, the range right here of the upper average daily range here's our next bar right after this open bar and a close higher we had a what's called a spike reversal down at this point and our close is lower now this is a good opportunity to actually move maybe underneath here bring it in some more profit uh, you might would have closed it out at this point if you're still shooting for your target at this range you still keep it in here but you know I would say move behind here <clears throat> and take a shot to see if you can hit this home run now you also have your green line coming into play and telling you that on this bar you should have it at 30 and a half so let me go ahead and put that in so here's the way we set up the trade and we're a little above actually a 29 and a half we're moving on our green line moving average and we're still trying to shoot for what happens to be our target up here at 28 here you go here's the next 15 minutes uh, the time now is at 1020 we rolled through here our uh, entry here is it was at 835 and a little under two hours we actually reached our target of 136 and 28 now this total trade actually could have pulled out more than thirteen hundred dollars but this was two contracts for thirteen hundred rolling your stop on the green line using all these green bars to help you make a decision to stay in this trade the only uh, bar that you had anything to think about right here was on this spike reversal thinking uh, we already reached our high and so we moved our stop up just in case uh, the market, the stock, uh, this market was done moving up, 
We were happy with taking our profits in this range. Once again, this is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. I wish you all the best in your trading. I look forward to talking to you soon. And uh, best trades and good trades, everyone. Thank you.